we were asked to restore this very ornate clock case which was sent to us from America in bits. Um, you can see here some of the pieces um, all held together with nails and epoxy resin. The carcass is uh, English oak as you can see there it's been stained. That's uh, part of the interior. There's a moulding and some more of the mouldings which have been cleaned up. Now here's the case, it's been reassembled uh, prior to the full restoration work. You can see that originally it had been um, uh, uh, ebonized, even though it was on a uh, figured walnut. These are some of the enrichments that were missing and my son Damien carved all of these from research done um, on similar clocks. They're all carved by hand in wax. There's one of the feet. Now these are copied using silicon rubber, rather like this. There's Damien pouring the uh, silicon rubber in and there he's cutting the silicon rubber mold. That's a mold made of the foot, um, which is injected with wax. Can see there with the wax and here he is assembling the clock case. You can see the original uh, enrichments there and all these ones that are slightly blue are turned into bronzes and this is a bronze. These are the bronzes cast from the wax models. It's using a lost wax process. That's the top man with his three-headed dog, which actually is a four-headed dog. That's how the original was. And there they are assembled prior to gilding.